Hey y'all, JR here. Gonna do a range review on the Smith & Wesson SD9VE. I got four different kinds of ammunition I'm gonna be using today. Federal 115 grain full metal jacket brass cased. Winchester white box 115 grain full metal jacket. <clears throat> Remington 115 grain full metal jacket. Then here I got 115 grain jacketed hollow point Remington green and white box. This is actually my self-defense ammo for my EDC. Get some mags loaded up and we'll put some uh, lead down range out of this thing. Here we got the Winchester white box. Please excuse the sounds of gunfire you hear in the background because I am at the public range. And with the rain, again with the Paul Harrell. I'm going to shoot the chest because I already shot the head and then I'll show you guys the group. I'm only going to put 10 through it because ammo is expensive. So there's 10 of them at three, maybe four yards. And that there is not a bad group for me as quick as I was firing. I don't know why I'm showing you guys that one. We'll change the target and grab some other ammo. Remington, 115 grain, full metal jacket. Gonna shoot for the head this time. Show you that group quick. Remington, 115 grain jacketed hollow point. We shoot the chest this time. Let's go compare the two groups. Jacket at hollow point, full metal jacket. Both Remingtons, both 115 grain. May have got a little excited and pulled her left, but I'm pretty happy with that. And for what it cost me to carry that ammo, I'm okay with it. 115 grain federal brass full metal jacket. Be taking headshots this time. That's my best group of the day. Let's go check it out. Not bad, I must be getting warmed up. What do I think of the SD9? I think it's an excellent pistol for the money. Comes with two 16 round polished stainless steel mags. Fit and finish on a gun is pretty good. Doesn't feel loose or like sloppily put together. It's got a brush stainless steel slide, black polymer lowers. It does come with plastic sights. They're adequate, they work just fine, but they are inexpensive and easy to replace. The trigger itself, eh, it's kind of smushy, got a heavy pull, a long reset, but really, you need anything else for self-defense? Personally, I don't. I had a little bit of a learning curve because I'd never shot a Smith & Wesson before. I'd say after 50 rounds, I was comfortable with it. After 100 rounds, I was confident with it. They do make a Glock-style aftermarket drop-in trigger that you can pick up on the cheap, and they look like they're pretty easy to install. This pistol's been fairly reliable. In almost 600 rounds, I've never had a non-firing malfunction. I was having some trouble with the slide not wanting to lock back after the last round fired. I did actually make a video on a quick fix for that, and it does seem to have taken care of the problem. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. The Smith & Wesson's about the same size as a Glock 19. Not real heavy, even fully loaded. With a good holster, you could carry this all day, no problem. 
All said, I think this is a great entry level, budget friendly gun for almost any shooter. Make a great first gun, make a great second or third. You need a truck gun, a get home bag gun, this will do it. There's mags out there, they're readily available and cost friendly, I'd say. That's pretty much all I got on this thing. If y'all got any uh, stories or anything you want to share about the Smith & Wesson SD9, I'd love to hear it. Put it in the comments below. I really do appreciate everybody stopping by. Please, when you're ready, adopt a pet. Support your local animal shelters. I'll catch y'all on the next one.